was it? Why was that important? What is it to hold on to something that you have believed? How do you hold on to something that you believe? How do you hold on to something that you believe? It is by living it. By putting it into practice. By obeying the word of God. And Jesus is saying, the truth is that a disciple of Jesus lives the teachings of Jesus. Isn't that simple? It is true. Those who live the teachings of Jesus are the disciples of Jesus. And the only way that you can test the word of God, the only way that one can test the truthfulness of what Jesus taught is to live it. And Jesus says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Now what is truth? Today, the word truth means a lot of things to many people. But for us who are believers, for us that Jesus is teaching, what is this truth? And Jesus himself will make this declaration. I am the truth. There is a ring, a link between the truth and the word of God. If you are a Christian and you do not live the word of God, you will not discover the freedom that comes in him. And Paul will write in the Galatians to the church, he said, it was for freedom that you have been set free. Therefore, live by the Spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. But he says, do not use your freedom as a way to indulge in the things of the flesh. The truth Jesus says to them, later he says, the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are truth. If you read it the other way around, turn it. If you do not abide in my word, you are not my disciples indeed. If you flip it in the negative, most of you saw um, my interview with the fortune teller on television the other day. And this fortune teller says, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. And the people who come to me, they come to me because I have been chosen by God also to spread his word. <coughs> now, <coughs> my mother is laughing. The Bible categorically condemns fortune telling. So how can you believe in God, an example? And be a fortune teller. How can you be a disciple of Jesus and be a fortune teller? But that's the extreme. 
how many things do you do that you know that is contrary to the word of God? Or let's put it in a positive sense. How many things do you do because you know that it is the word of God? And Jesus stands to the Jews and says to them, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. You cannot follow Jesus and not do what he commands. In our society today we are debating on the question of divorce. And it's everywhere. But the question is not should we divorce or should we not divorce? I don't think that it is important for you to tell someone who is not a disciple of Jesus do not divorce. But for us who are disciples of Jesus, we believe that marriage is a covenant with God and with one another. It is a covenant that is more than a contractual agreement between a man and a wife, but that it is a covenant that finds itself in God Himself. Do Christian marriages break? Yes, they do. Why? For many, many reasons. But we, as disciples of Jesus, must abide in the Word. And in the Word, you will discover truth. I like the answer of the Jews in verse 33. They came to Jesus and they said to him, Jesus, we are Abraham's descendants and we have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say we will be made free? Now that's not true because at the time of Jesus, Rome ruled Palestine. The Jews were under the bondage, under the rulership of Rome. But you see, they saw themselves as outside the rulership of Rome. Which is true, because they were God's people. And God had called them to live, to live in freedom. I grace. But Jesus said to them, imagine this, he said, you are thinking in an endless sense. But he said, very, very, I say unto you, truly, truly, I say unto you, or most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave to sin. How many of us in this room would say, I am not a bondage to anything? you want God to set you free from. We each have something that we need to be delivered from. And the answer, the key to that deliverance is the word of God. It's Jesus himself. Of course, if you sin, you become a slave to sin. Like someone says, ah, no, I am, I am my own master. And I go, you wish. You wish you were your own master. There are many things that you and I, hey, grace, 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 grace. No, it's all right, no? Elliot, leave, leave her. Grace. Okay? You want to come? Come. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Say hello.
Say hello. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. I saw someone, he told me, Ah, Ahmed, I am my own man. And my own woman. And I go, you wish. 